<laughs> I see that you did the same as mine. Mm -hmm. Roadkill! <sighs> yeah, that travel over to St. Pete, kind of, uh, we, we aren't slot of bugs here. Yeah, going from the east coast of Florida to the west coast of Florida, you hit that mucky area called Central Florida. Florida, yeah. yeah. And we have this thing called uh, love bugs twice a year. Mm -hmm. It's a nuisance to us. And uh, we have hurricane season and we have love bug season. That's how you kind of set your watch down here in Florida. But what we're going to show you is not every time when you go through places like this where mm -hmm. you get totally covered with bugs, mm -hmm. do you have running water, a bucket, and a hose and everything like that. So how do you deal with uh, the bugs when you're traveling through the state? Yeah, because these guys, like we mentioned before in a previous video, they could etch into your paint and you don't want that. So what's the quickest, fastest way to get rid of them if you don't have all the tools you'll need? Stay tuned, coming at you this week's Tech Tip. We are here. Let's get rid of some bugs. He has about 15,000 of them down here in the front of his car. My car is next. I have about 20,000 on there because I went over mm -hmm. twice. Mm -hmm. So what is your first tip? Because we do have a couple tips here. All right, we're going to show my tip the way I like to do it. And it's the easiest, simplest way. Black fire bug remover. You right. spray it on here and you'll wipe it off. Okay. That's it. That's it. Well, then get doing it. We got to we gotta so, show. Yeah, we're gonna show you right here. We're gonna get this lower area. Get this out of your way. Hand you a microfiber. But you know what, while you're letting that dwell, because it's always nice to let things dwell, yeah. right? Because then it re, I like to say rehydrates the bugs. He's gonna tell you it's not like Jurassic Park where it comes back to life. It's it will just, not. But while he's doing that and that's dwelling, I'm gonna show you another quick little tip. And that is, say you have bug that's been sitting there for a while like this little bad boy right here um you don't want it to sit there longer than it needs to and it may have been on there for a while so it was you... probably before i went to st petersburg <laughs> so the thing is you don't want to sit there and take something and scrub it because then you're going to have a chance of scratching or marring your paint so here's another quick tip on how to do it especially if they've been caked on there for a while and they're just not wanting to come off mm -hmm. you can turn around as you get that wet then Thoroughly douse a microfiber towel with your either instant detailer or bug remover so that way it's good and wet. Mm -hmm. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to place that over the top of it and let it sit there because what that's doing is holding the uh, moisture onto the bug and increasing the, the um, lubricity. Well, not is that a word? <laughs> it's not <laughs> what I was going for. It, it increases the chances of you getting that bug off without scratching or more on the paint. And if you could see right here, here there's a let, big let me, let me Let me do the little up close cam here. Up close cam. Right here. See how that's all wet and soaked? That's soaking right into the bug so that it saturates it, loosens it up, and just lifts it up without you having to dig and yeah, grind at it. You should be able to just wipe that right off. So mm -hmm. as we let, what, step two or project two or bug removal step two? Test B. <laughs> Test B. B. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. It might have been a B. All right, so go ahead and show them how you're going to do that over there. All right, so this has dwelled. I like to do just one more spritz to re-dwell it. And then Lubricate. all you got to do is just wipe it is off. Just wipe it off. Okay. And show the bugs on your microfiber. Yeah. See? Well, look at that. That's disgusting. Okay. Wow. I don't like that. <laughs> All right. Then while he's doing that, I'm going to show you another way. This way is, uh, this has been mentioned a few times on the forum, I do believe. Um, then one of our uh, tech reps here, he also suggests this also. Here you have the Blackfire uh, clay mitt, right? Yes. It's going to work because all Black you have fire. to do is spray your bug killer on that as a lubrication or you can use a clay lube. Try to spray it away from your friends. Ah, no, I like, you know, I'm trying to kill you one slow step at a time. Then again, let it dwell just a little bit. Then you're going to take your mitt and you're going to come right and clay right over the top of it. 
And those bugs, if they're stuck on, they kind of come right off because the clay is grabbing them. And the nice thing about this, opposed to using a clay bar, is you can wash this off. Mm -hmm. You know, you get in the hotel room and stuff, get in the sink and turn around and just hose it off. And there you go, that is done. You'll turn around and you'll take your microfiber, since you already have a dirty microfiber there. Take your microfiber and wipe those bugs right off. Wow, look at you making my car clean for once. Uh, I know, I gotta return the favor every once in a while. If not, you'll stop doing mine. Mm, All right, so true. basically there's two ways that we've did this. We've did it with just a microfiber. That's if you just have, well, I didn't get down there. That's the reason why I was letting it dwell. He makes me bend over. That's um, so we use the, the, just the microfiber and the bug kill or mm -hmm. the bug remover. All right. Then we use the bug remover and a clay mitt. Mm -hmm. Then you can also always use the other side, you know, to get the little fine little remnants off, then mm -hmm. wipe it with the microfiber. Or then you can always do this way. Let's check on that. Where you lift up and let me just bring in the close up cam here. All right. So now that bug. As you can see, it's removed just a little bit and you can look on, see yep. on the towel right here. See it right there. A little bit of splatter right there. Now just so. wipe that off. I'll fold up my towel. And you're going to use that white little and then the wet edge right there. Yep, flipped it the wrong way. And there you go. Boom. Easily peasy. It's done. So. It was a she. She's fine. Yeah, well, it was the bee, remember? Oh, yeah. All right, so that is three quick, easy ways. And this stuff you can just pack in the back of uh, your, your trunk. Yeah, because all you'll need is bug remover. Or, or a clay lube Mike, Mike or, or um, uh, an instant detailer. You have a, I, I'd recommend the I'd bug recommend remover. I'd recommend bug remover because it'll actually Has get all those uh, like gross acids that the bug leaves and it'll remove all that in there. Plus it's designed to remove bugs, come on. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and all you need is a clay mitt and, it's, and that's it. Just these three things. Maybe get yourself an AutoGeek uh, travel bag. And or, or any bag that go. you do have and just maybe like three three uh, microfibers in your trunk, you're mm -hmm. good to go. So the next time you're road tripping, when you get there, your car won't look like it went through a slaughterhouse, all right? It'll actually look clean and how it's supposed to. I so, like you know what, I, I, there's more bugs here and you know, I have, you know, other things that I gotta do, so. I got you know, this side and, of the car, you, you got that no, side? No, you, 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 you're doing some great. I'm you gonna got that side? I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch, you got, I, I'm gonna watch. You have that no, side? You're doing great. To do.